So what do you do on a rainy day when you uh, can't fly? Uh, you do a review. So what we're going to be looking at is our little 250 quad. We're going to be looking at our big 550 which is the 3D guy and the little uh, Mooch 330 that's in the process of being rebuilt. So we have a look at this guy here. Um, this is the 250mm frame and it's a $10 frame. Now I've modified it. I've actually put this guy over the top, it comes with a silly little canopy, um, got rid of that, put this guy over. I've actually drilled a hole through there so that I could mount my Mobius camera in the front of that so that the props don't hit it. And I've put a set of these little uh, lights on the front so we can see uh, which way is which because obviously all black uh, could be a bit of an issue. We're running the Free Sky D4R. Um, uh, receiver and uh, it's got telemetry and we're also running that in CPPM mode so to do that you jump over the uh, signal on uh, 3 and 4 channel hook into channel uh, 1 and you just hook that up into your first um, your first channel on your on your board now the board that we're running here is um, a white spy um, flip 32 and this is a great board Okay, and, and, and I'm not sponsored by Paul or, or anyone else, I just call it as I see it. Um, got a few boards in there that um, I wouldn't fly again, and I'm not going to mention which ones they are, but the ones that I do like, uh, this guy. It's a 32-bit board, you run it through the base flight um, configurator, and really, really dead simple to set up. Okay, so $18 for the board. Now the settings on the board we've got at the moment is we've taken it, uh, the RC rate from 0 up to 1.6, which is fairly high. We've taken the uh, RC Expo from 0.65 down to 0.5, so it'll be a bit more linear, so a little bit more reactive. The pitch and roll uh, rates have been up from 0 up to 0.3, and the yaw rate has been up from 0 up to 0.5. So this thing is going to either spin out of control or be very, very reactive. We're flying the standard HQ 5-inch props, and they are a 5x4, not a 5x3. So they're a little bit more angled. 3s are flatter, 4s are, are up. And we're flying these little motors. Now these little motors are... Um, these little motors are the DYS motors. They're about $8.00. And they are a BE um, 1806, and they are a 2300 kV motor. So these things, um, you know, you do the maths on it. Run one of these with a four cell battery, you're running up over 38,000 RPM. Okay, and that's what we'll be doing. We're gonna fly four cells with this. Um, okay, so what, I've, what I'm running here is the Turnergy Plush ESC, the little 12 amp. Um, um, ESCs, um, standard, they are just programmed, they're not flashed with Simon K, and um, basically that's about it. So the motors, um, motors were about $8 each, the board as I said $18, this was $21, the frame was $10, bucks. Um, the lights on the front from Hobby King, they were I think $2.50, and um, basically that's it. Now this thing's got telemetry, I haven't got it set up at the moment, but it does have uh, full telemetry capability. So when you actually do the CPPM mode on this and you bridge across there and you run just the one wire system, you can have up to eight channels, but because you're putting eight channels for a multi-rotor through one lead, they recommend that you only use six channels. So I've got the standard four, the, um, the pitch, the roll, and the yaw, and the throttle is your four, and the uh, fifth and sixth I just use from the auxiliary, so they don't, you know, once they're on, they're on. So that's it. Now, this frame does have a bit of an issue with these little legs here. Um, they don't stay in there. A lot of people glue them and end and end. I've just put a couple of cable ties on there, and uh, we'll see how that goes. So that is basically our little... Um, a little 250.